Hi, this is Zach with the US stock highlights here on Share Talk for Thursday, the 25th of March. And uh, a bit gloomy for some at the end of the month, end of the tax year, etc. But uh, here we've got uh, AMC Entertainment uh, breaking back above uh, recent uh, uh, neckline support. I suppose uh, the initial March, uh, or rather initial February, peaked there at $10, and uh, that's the pivotal price action for this market. Uh, end of day closed back above 10.10, and uh, we're looking hopefully for a, a push higher. Had a minor bear trap below yesterday's low, which was good. We've also had a uh, uh, a test of support above the 50-day moving average at $8.17, which is also a plus point. And uh, uh, as I said, above $10.10, hoping to retrace or retest uh, the early March or the mid-March resistance there towards $14 over the next couple of weeks. Uh, moving on to another recent gainer, which is uh, back on the front foot. And uh, here we'll see that it's... Uh, Synodyme. Uh, here we've got um, the shares following through from yesterday's move. Uh, we had the end of day close uh, through the 50-day moving average, which was the start, I suppose, of this little run uh, on Tuesday and uh, heading for hopefully the uh, at least retest of uh, February resistance. That's at $2.33. Uh, best case at the moment, an end of day or an end of uh, April move back up towards uh, $2.65, 66, something like that. And um, that would effectively retest the uh, June resistance from last year. So looking pretty perky there for Synodyme at the moment. Uh, moving along to uh, another stock which has been uh, a regular here and is uh, back again, F-Star Therapeutics. Uh, nice move here through the previous resistance line target there uh, through $14. Uh, that line there from back in uh, January last year. Uh, the view now is that uh, while there's no end of day close back below $14.40, which is where the line is, uh, we're looking for a target here as high as uh, October resist the October resistance line projection there at $20 as soon as the end of next month. Stock of the moment and maybe stock of the year and uh, could even be the stock of the decade in terms of uh, newsworthiness is uh, GameStop. Uh, we had a little game with the shares uh, going from February into March. Uh, we had two potential well, had a support area there around $108. Uh, resistance there at the top of the gap uh, at around uh, $212. So we managed to go from those two levels. So actually overshot on the on that particular situation. Uh, maybe that wasn't very popular with Robin Hood, uh, uh, the company, but uh, there we go. Uh, come back now and uh, bounced off the 50-day moving average at, at around um, $120, which is a, po a positive as well. Uh, helping along is the way that the 50-day line is currently currently rising. That suggests that we should be back towards our $212 uh, level over the next week or two. And uh, the proviso is that we remain above 160 but uh, going for 212 now, uh, decent, ups uh, decent upside there from current levels. If you're cautious on the shares and want to see more evidence of strength, maybe you wait for an end of day close back above the top of the gap, a former low there at $177. So $177 plus on the close today. Uh, could suggest we're actually going not only to 212, but actually to retest um, the uh, best levels of the month uh, through $300. Uh, at close above the top of a gap, a gap fill, positive gap fill like that can be a very strong signal and one of the best around. So something to uh, keep in mind despite all the detractors for GameStop. Uh, stock which has uh, flown higher today is Houston Wire and Cable. And uh, here you can see that uh, there's been a massive gap. Uh, what will be interesting now is to see whether the shares can hold above uh, that old January peak at $4.75, above $4.75 on an end-of-day close basis. And we're looking towards the top of the rising trend channel on the Houston chart. Uh, that's there from uh, November last year, and that's pointing to a suggested destination as high as $7, the time frame on that, as soon as the end of next month, but only while we hold above $4.75 on an end-of-day close basis. Mining stocks, not quite the um, flavor of the month at the moment, but uh, some are coming through, shining through. Here we've got Comstock Mining, which is uh, bear th trapped through yesterday's floor. Uh, yesterday's floor around $4.57, an end of day close above that. And we should be on our way at least to that resistance line projection from last year at uh, just shy of $6.50. The other plus point in terms of the price action here, well, there's a couple of, yes, a couple of plus points, uh, the un massive unfilled gap to the upside that we had in February, another one before that as well. So two unfilled gaps to the upside normally suggests a stock which is or a market which is uh, very much on the uh, bullish tack, very bullish indeed, in fact. And uh, the third uh, minor point compared to that is the way that we bounced today off the uh, uptrend line there from the end of January 
and that marks today's low at four dollars 47 so we really want to see uh, that 400 four dollar 50 area held uh, on today's uh, close uh, moving along to uh, stock which uh, is also on the uh, front foot at the moment here we've got polar power and uh, here the situation is we've got another support rebound so uh, and actually in fact as it stands a key reversal to the upside so an end of day close above eleven dollar sixty three today uh, would be enough to give us that, that key reversal up and also suggest that we could head up towards the 50-day moving average at $15.39. Bigger picture target over the next, uh, I suppose, month or so would be a move to that uh, resistance line projection there from uh, the latter part of last year at $22 plus, perhaps as soon as the end of next month, if we get a decent, decent kick off this uh, key reversal that we've had today. On to another stock, which is uh, giving the bulls a good run for their money and uh, not quite so uh, famous as the other ones but we've looked at, but a great chart nevertheless. Uh, Pro QR Therapeutics, a massive move here today. And uh, the message at the moment is that while we're above that uh, late January peak at $6.34, we should see further significant upside. Initial target I've got here up to uh, $10, which is a March resistance line projection. Should be seen over the next couple of weeks or maybe sooner. Uh, if you're looking for more than that, then I suppose it's uh, rather obvious that we look uh, back towards uh, the um, the um, early 2019 resistance area around $15. But $10, I think, is a fair target, especially after today's bumper move to the upside. Uh, on to a stock which I uh, poo-pooed and laughed at slightly yesterday, Freight Car America. I suggested it was a rather 20th century sounding concept, but... Uh, we did manage to hit the top of the rising trend channel there, uh, January 2020 resistance line at $4.90. Looking for an end of day close through $4.90 to give us a target for the end of next month, which would be an August resistance line projection, currently promising a target as high as $6.20. At this stage, I suppose Eddie really back below uh, the recent uh, resistance of the last couple of sessions at $4.30, really slowing down the idea of further progress there. Finishing off with a meme stock, um, where would we be without these? Uh, Zemedica, uh, here we've got a situation where uh, this chart doesn't look, doesn't look, I suppose, fantastic at first glance, but we have actually bounced off this neckline support. Uh, that's a line there running from January. Uh, the support line there at $1.48, today's low. There's also that resistance, the old resistance there at $1.48 from uh, back in January as well. So while there's no end of day close back below that and bouncing off that, we're suggesting that we could go back into the range up to two dollars fifty plus if you want a further or a final kicker to the upside or the upside argument let's say uh, wait for an end of day close through the 50-day moving average at one dollar 77 and if you're really fussy an end of day close back above the top of the uh, or the rather the floor of the recent gap at one dollar 99 so you've got plenty of choice there in terms of uh, how to play this on a technical basis but uh, everything here really hinging on one dollar 48 holding over the near term at Zemedica. That's it from me today. More updates tomorrow.